Hey there, it's Jenny and I am back today with a brand new memory planner layout and also a new product that I wanted to introduce to you. This is the HP RT Photo Printer, the CP2100 model. And you can see here the printer is totally adorable and it's about the size of my iPhone, a little bit thicker and it's fantastic. Honestly, the printer is Great. I own a Canon IV, which is a small portable printer, and I have worked with a couple of the others, like the Sprocket, those types of printers. This blows all of them out of the water. I will, in a future video, side by side a print of this one and the IV so that you can see the difference. Yes, this printer is slightly larger than the IV, but hands down, this is like 10 times better, and the price is really great. As of um, sharing this video with you today, the printer is $79.99 on Amazon with a 20% off discount. It's fantastic. And I would 100% pay that. And I'm not just saying that. I get pitched probably about four to seven products a week to share either here or on my Instagram. That is not to, that's not meant to be some flex. It's not meant to be like, oh my gosh, I'm so great. I turn down the very vast majority of them, to be perfectly honest with you, because they're not a great fit for what I do. However, when they approached me to share this photo printer with you, I was really excited because I think photo printers are one of those things that no one ever really truly knows what to choose. Like, okay, well, I mean, I hear this one's great, so let's give it a go. I know that lots of people are very interested in these ultra portable photo printers and don't want to spend a ton of money on them. And so far, I'm really enjoying this one very much. I like it because it's Bluetooth. If you have spotty Wi-Fi or no Wi-Fi, no problem at all. It has thermal images and the images are ever so slightly larger than a two by three. So they're 53 by 86 millimeters, which I know here in the US, we're not terribly familiar with the metric system, but so it's just a little bit larger than two by three, which is great because if you want to print a two by three, then you can just trim off a little bit of excess from the photo. So you can see there that one that I'm cutting right now. And then the other one of the, my son with my dog, I used this printer for and I'm, I am genuinely, truly enjoying this printer and will 100% do it again. It's very, very easy to use, only comes with a couple of items in the box, which to me says simplicity. And yeah, I'm, I'm stoked. I really am excited about this printer. And I hope that if you're in the market for one, I will link this one up for you to check out below. No pressure. I just wanted to share something in case you're interested in a smaller portable photo printer that is easy to use and does a great job. Again, they are not replacing like professional photos, let's be clear, like, you know, you send them out to a professional printer or something like that. But for a tiny little portable printer, this is outstanding in my opinion and my experience with other tiny photo printers. So I have printed all of these out. They're about two by three, you know, give or take a little bit because that's what I like using in the big happy planner. So I'm going to adhere them all down to the page. I like to leave them or have them on the day that they took place if possible. Obviously it's not always possible to have that. And some of the photos like pictures of my pets and stuff, mostly it doesn't really matter what day they get put down on because obviously pets don't change that much and they don't have activities or things like that. So it's not a big deal at all. All right, so I'm gonna pull these out of the discs so I can work a little bit more easily. And I like to do this just because it gives me the best surface and the most room for all of these things. Now I'm gonna be using the Coco Daisy Take Flight Collection which obviously has florals and obviously this is a beginning of February layout. But for me, we've had a ton of rain this winter, which is unusual. And this collection has a lot of rainy images and a feel for inclement weather or rainy weather. And so I knew it would be perfect to use with this layout where I do focus on some of the rain. And man, oh man, it has been a 
just a rainy mess. All right, so I'm using this large sticker. This is from the Modern Memory Keeping Kit, and it's sized for like a Big Happy Planner or a Daisy Planner, both of which are great. And obviously you don't have to use them for that. There's, there's no need there. I'm also using like this sticker, for example, is from the Memory Keeping Sticker Kit, which this is one of my favorite kits. I love so many of the elements that are included here, including the decorative stickers, including the date stickers, and then the little strips too. I think they're all just incredible. I love them so much. So you can see I started my first cluster over in the upper left-hand corner, which unfortunately for me seems to be a common theme in 2024 since I don't like the pre-printing on that side of this planner. So covering it up is really basically about the way to go. But the good news about that is that I know that I'm going to do that. So every week I can kind of think about it in advance, or I can get really good at covering that up. So just looking at the bright side. All right, so I'm going to use some rub-ons for another small cluster. This other cluster on the left-hand side that I've already done is really big. So I want to keep the other ones a little bit smaller just to have them be more accents, if anything, versus like big, huge elements. I am leaving a little bit of white space lately. That seems to be my style as of late. It's always evolving, that's for sure. But right now I seem to be leaving a little bit more white space. So I'm going to remove that. Look, it's so cute. I absolutely love it. And like I said, there has just been a lot of rain, including that photo with my son and his truck. And so it just made a lot of sense to me to include those rainy elements, especially because I don't have that year round. It doesn't rain here in the summer and things like that, like it does other places. And so Hopefully here soon the rain will also be over, so I won't have that. So I'm going to use it right now. All right, so I wanted to layer a handful of things together, like get a little bit of creative energy flowing. And so I'm going to use my big Happy Planner punch and punch out a piece of this patterned paper with the stripes on it, which I love. And then I'm going to layer on top of it a couple of die cuts as well. So, so cute. All three of these are from the Take Flight Modern Memory Keeping Kit, which comes with a bunch of pocket cards, which are outstanding. But I also love the other elements too. It's so cute. All right, so you can see right there, I've got my three main clusters. Now I want to go ahead and add the boxes for the activities that I want to make sure that I notate this week. So my son had a couple of baseball games. He also got his driver's license and my cousin came to visit. So there's all of those things that I want to document for this particular week. Like, for example, the times of the games, the opponents, the time of his appointment, when my cousin's flight took off and when it landed, things like that. So these boxes are great. I actually really love them from Mojo Jojo. I feel like they're really versatile. I do tend to use some colors more than others, but really for me, a large part of it is the size. That is a big deal. Like I use this size that I'm using right now, I use it a lot. It fits my handwriting really, really well. So it's nice to have an entire book of stickers that are all this size. Now I'm gonna use the alphabet stickers that are included to just spell out itty bitty. If you've been here for a minute, you know this is a program that my family and I have been involved with for a super long time, thanks to our high school baseball program. And I was the chairperson of it for four years. And so it's just very near and dear to our hearts. So I like to make sure to include that here in the memory planner when my son has that now, because it's 
just something I want to make sure that we always remember. And I love this font of alphabet stickers. It's super cute. And I think that using those really draws attention to that particular activity. So now I'm going to use some of the phrase strips and add them to the photos. I just want to, I don't know what it is about doing this, but it's really pleasing to me for some reason, just having these little fun phrases and then layering them on top of the photos. Again, it's not like it says got driver's license. I don't know why it is, but it just really always feels very good to me. And I'm going through some of the other stickers to see if I want to include any more decorative elements or what I'm going to do sort of at this point. I know I'm still going to add journaling, but isn't there anything else that I'm missing? Anything else that I know that I want to add right there? I'm still thinking about more rub-ons because, you know, I love rub-ons. They have no bulk. They're amazing. Now I'm going to add some journaling lines right through here and then I'll go back through and journal. Apparently I'm still in my pencil and then erase it era just to make sure that I get straight lines, you know, because I'm not good at that. Like if I just handed it, the journaling would be all over the place, but this works great. Although after looking at this layout when it was finished, I feel like maybe my mild liners might be coming back here quite quickly because I just feel like my layouts need a little bit of added extra spark. So I love to use this particular mat. It's working really, really well for me for adding my lines. It's magnetic, so it all sticks together really well. Like there's no slipping and sliding, which is very, very nice. So I, for whatever reason, it just really appeals to me as well to have these larger journaling blocks. Now I'm going to add a little tiny one that I can add some brush lettering to down here as well. But I make a mistake here. Typically, I'm pretty good at judging how much space I need. But again, I don't brush letter that often, so I didn't do a great job. The mistake is there. You can see it. But I'm going to use a couple of stickers to cover up that extra MU that I wrote. So I'm going to layer two together right over on top of it so that I can still leave the rest of what I wrote, but not have that mistake there. So just remember, stickers are a great way to cover up mistakes. Don't let that stop you from trying different things or doing different things in your memory planner. So now look at that. We're mostly done. I still need to add a couple of more decorative elements because I'm just not pleased. I just don't feel like I have enough of them here, but you know, that's easy enough with these stickers. So one bigger cluster down here below. Oh my gosh, how adorable is that? And then just a couple more pieces as well. I'm going to link everything here below for you just in case you're interested, including that photo printer, because it really is quite great. And now I'm going to add the dates and a little bit of washi too. So like these strips, they're just stickers, but they look like washi or they behave like washi, I guess. They don't really look like washi, but they behave like washi. And I love that because it's a little extra pop and it just really makes it a little bit fun. So now when I'm done with the dates, I'm just going to erase my journaling lines and that is it for me. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment box below and I will do my very best to get back to you. Thank you so much and make it a great day.